walk me through your your draft day, Kyle. What was that like back in the day? Oh, draft day. I actually, I have a pretty good draft day story. Okay. Um, so I actually, so my agent, he was pretty confident that I was going to be a day three pick. You know, he said, um, you know, most likely you're going to get drafted somewhere in that fourth to sixth round. And um, I, so I, I took my chance and I had a draft party, which, you know, is, it's really rolling the dice when you're a fullback coming from Harvard uh, to host the draft party. But I felt good about it. My my agent, Joe Linta, he, he felt really uh, comfortable with it. So we host a party at my mom's house back in uh, Medina, Ohio, mm-hmm. and have all my family and friends over. Um, and really just kind of a dream day. You know, um, fourth round, day three comes up. And uh, we're all sitting in my living room, and I, I get that uh, that call with the Baltimore area code. I talk to Ozzy Newsome first. Um, my whole living room just goes absolutely insane when uh, my name comes across the ticker. And there's a great video on YouTube of it. Uh, just really such a surreal day. You know, that was my biggest goal in my entire life was to make it into the NFL. So to get drafted was just like – it's hard to even put into words. Like when I think about that day, I, I still get choked up. Um, but besides the, like the, the, that part of, you know, living out my childhood dream, uh, my mom had bought a meat tray for the party and everyone at the party ate this meat tray. We had like, it was just like, I don't know, like a, a local spot that everybody loved. Well, we all got food poisoning that night oh, God. from, from this meat tray. And so all my friends, um, you know, are in town staying, staying with me, staying at the house. Our septic system broke that night. Oh. So we had no, we had no bathroom. We all have food poisoning. Oh. And multiple friends, get their uh, flights got canceled, like, the next day. So oh. here I am, like, wow. riding on an absolute high. Best day, literally, like, one of the best days of my life. At the time, best day of my life. And then you get, we all get hit with food poisoning and can't go to the bathroom anywhere. <laughs> so did you, when you, did you go to the Ravens the next day and they're like, how'd you drop so much weight? And you know, you had to, <laughs> you had to explain so what was going is, on. Um, <laughs> what? Back then we, uh, we, we had like a week until we had to report okay. to rookie mini camp. I don't know if it, it, I feel like it's different nowadays where guys are literally like there the next day or so. Yeah. Um, but I think I got drafted on like a Sunday, and we didn't have to report until like the next week. So right. I had some time to gain that weight that weight back. So, what was your rookie year like? Uh, you know, I'm trying. I'm, I don't know the Ravens roster off the top of my head from 2013, but um, you know, obviously yeah, so Harbaugh was there. They, and what, what do you what do you got for me on that front? Who was there? Ray. So the the Ravens still? had they had just won the Super Bowl. Right. Um, and Vontae Leach was their fullback, and he had just made a Pro Bowl. Um, but after drafting me, they were kind of you know moving on, moving on to a new younger regime. Um, and so they they released um, Vontae, brought me in, and I went through all uh, mini camp, uh, OTAs, all that kind of stuff. You know, running with the ones, thinking you know I have I have a chance to come in here and play as as a young rookie, and um, it, it comes to our first day of pads and notoriously in Baltimore, the first day of pads was always short yardage and goal line. And so I didn't play fullback in college. I played tight end, but I was I, quite honestly, I was like a glorified uh, slot receiver. Mm-hmm. Like I, I was a true like H back. Like I was very rarely in the backfield. So I was still learning the position and it's short yardage and goal line day. And we have three groups, and I'm the only fullback on the roster. And so I go 12 reps in a row on the goal line and coming out of the I formation, and these guys just absolute took a beating on me. Like, <laughs> safety's coming downhill, yeah. 10 yards, full head of steam. They know I'm the, this rookie. I just got my butt kicked on the play before. They're just going to take advantage of me. And so – I just got absolutely pelted for 12 plays in a row to where, like, I had to wear a turtleneck to practice the next day because my neck was so bruised. It looked like I had gotten, like, 12 hickeys. <laughs> and 
Um, I'm not embarrassed to say this now because, like you said earlier, I'm on my seventh Pro Bowl. So I can straight. I can live up to this. Uh, the next day, they signed Vontae Leach back to the squad. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> literally the next day after that one day in pads, they signed Leach back. And so I was kind of uh, – I went back to just being a special teams guy. And so my rookie year, I only played four offensive snaps. Uh, and the rest were – I was a four-phase uh, special teams guy. Jim Caldwell was our uh, offense coordinator, and he really didn't use a fullback all that much anyways. Even Vontae wasn't playing a lot on offense. So that first year was really kind of a redshirt year on offense, and I just had to make a name for myself uh, on special teams, which I ended up having a really good year there. Um, but it wasn't until my second year that we brought in Gary Kubiak as our offense coordinator um, that he really he, he believed in me and that he felt like I could get it done at, at fullback. He liked the skill set I had, and um, he gave me a chance past that first day of pads, uh, and I eventually was able to you know show what I could do and you know kind of took off from there. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern for free.